Hello, you beautiful people. So in this video, we're just going to take a look at this CPU cooler called Game Max GTA RGB. So the story all starts when I was trying to build my previous PC. I'm going to be honest with you. I will show you the picture right in here. My previous build was not that great. And I was like all doubtful about all the ARGBs and my PC case color. For this PC build, I wanted it to be all beautiful and all invest into RGBs. And after an excessive amount of research, I came across this CPU cooler. So I got it and I have it for around roughly around six months now. So I'm well acquainted and well aware of all the advantages and disadvantages of the CPU cooler. So in this video, we're just gonna talk about it and I'm gonna show you my personal opinion about this CPU fan cooler. So without any further ado, let's get into it. GameX GTA RGB is relatively affordable CPU cooler. I actually got it for around 40 US dollars with one year of warranty, which seemed like a good deal for me. It is completely ARGB compatible with most motherboard manufacturers, and this series is considered a performance version from Deepcool Company. The box included the cooler itself with a fan pre-installed with it. It has all sort of screws for different socket compatibilities for Intel and Ryzen. It even comes with the thermal paste itself that I found quite decent in quality over this period of time that I'm using it. And most importantly, it comes with a handy user manual that helped me a lot in building this PC. And it basically leaves no room for errors. I will also leave the link to the builder's guide down in the description for you just to see how easy and user friendly it is. The CPU cooler also had complete compatibility with my ASUS Army Crate lighting app and it should be fine with most motherboards as well due to what Deepcool claims and I had no problem with light controlling whatsoever with it at all. The fan speed ranges from 500 to 1650 RPM with TDP and maximum power consumption of 180 watts. And guys, just for the records, I added another fan that came with my PC case to the CPU cooler just to help cooling process, but it only comes with a single fan. So we're just going to take CPU temperature under load with and without the second fan that I manually added. Our game of choice for this test is Overwatch 2, and in the first phase, we will test thermal throttling with dual CPU cooling fans and compare the numbers to the second test. Okay, so CPU temperatures average in between 67 to 71 Celsius, and we're just gonna remove the second fan to compare it with the singular cooling system. After an hour of playing, it wasn't really that hot. The CPU temperature was not even up in the 80s Celsius range, and it was like average in between 75 to 76 Celsius and wasn't honestly that bad. And despite of the fact that my CPU is 11700K and I have overclocked it to 5 gigahertz, I had no thermal problems with it, even with the single CPU fan. And I would strongly suggest a CPU cooler to any high-end competitive PC gamer and I can assure you that it will do the job. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please feel free to ask your question if you had any in the comment section down below.